Ripple's been fighting this fight since the very beginning. We've spent literally over $150 million fighting the SEC, an unlawful war. All right, bull runners. So today's an amazing day for XRP holders with XRP sitting up over 100% in the past week. XRP now identifies as a meme coin. In this video, we're breaking down the XRP to the US dollar price chart compared to Bitcoin's dominance and why this rally for XRP is just getting started. So for those of you guys that have been patiently waiting over the past couple of years, wondering if now is a good time to sell your XRP, or if you've been sitting on the sidelines, wondering if now is a good time to buy XRP, we're gonna dive into all of that in this video. We're gonna decode a major conspiracy theory about XRP, the matrix, Gematria, Donald Trump, what Brad Garlinghouse had to say about their secret meeting, Trump's plan for credit cards, the bank war that happened in the United States with Andrew Jackson, and how what's happening today could be compared to what took place back in the 1800s, and Donald Trump's shocking plan to completely wipe out the $36 trillion of debt. Plus, I have some altcoins to share with you guys at the end of this video that have that 5, 10, 50, or even 100x potential for the rest of this bull run. So comment 777 if you're feeling blessed, if you're feeling bullish, and if you're going to become the first millionaire in your family tree, confirm it by tapping the subscribe button. Let's run it. All right, bull runners, welcome back to the channel. So the past 24 hours has been incredible for XRP holders with XRP up, you know, over 100% rallying from 50 cents to over a dollar. XRP is operating kind of like a meme coin, but it's bittersweet because of how much pain everyone has had to go through over the past couple years of watching everything else in the market rally while XRP has done nothing and has been suppressed because of the SEC. And now XRP is having its day in the sun. So expect a lot of influencers out there to come out the woodworks that bashed on XRP that avoided talking about it specifically in their videos. I've seen so many other channels that skip over XRP and they go right to the heaping pile of trash coins to talk about. And there's nothing wrong with that because, hey, we have a diversified portfolio. We talk about a lot of different projects that do very, very well. But I've always told you guys that XRP is the largest position in my portfolio because of what I'm going to share with you in this video and what I've been sharing with you over the past few years, over the past four years. I've been holding through all of it. So all of the emotions that you felt over the past four years, I've felt them too. So I definitely feel you. But right now, I'm not overly excited. I feel very grounded because I know this is just the start. There's still a lot of work to do, and we have a lot left in this bull run. So let's dive right in. Let me talk about what we see happening in the markets and on the charts. I thought this was a great post by CryptoProf talking about the total crypto market cap excluding Bitcoin. Two-week MACD for altcoin closes tomorrow and could be a bullish cross. This would be the first two-week MACD bullish cross in almost two years years so he says it's probably nothing obviously sarcastic but if we see this cross take place while the altcoin market cap sits roughly at one point almost two trillion dollars right at the previous high well we're still drastically below the all-time high so if we catch up and it's not a matter of if in my mind it's just a matter of when you know yes we could see a little bit of a consolidation or a little pullback in the short term but inevitably when that happens XRP and other big altcoins are going to absolutely fly. So with this month, altcoins, aka total two, have broken out of the reaccumulation pattern. This was also the case in 2016 and 2020. People are panicking again, even though the run seems to be just beginning. So much fun is still yet to come because when we look down here at the relative strength index on the monthly chart, you can see the reaccumulation circled in yellow and what happened with the RSI. Back in 2016, we got way overextended above 70. For this rally, we barely even breached above 70. For the 2020 rally, we didn't quite make it up to 70. So it's kind of in between what happened back in 2020 at the tail end of that year and in 2016 before that massive rally. So I'm expecting face melting gains for a lot of these different projects. And if you look at the double bottom where you see higher lows and then this massive breakout to uh, close to the previous high, but not quite up to it. The next move for the altcoin market is going to be parabolic. I think it could push it up to the all-time high or th roughly $3 trillion. And the reason why I believe that to be true is because if we look at Bitcoin's dominance versus altcoin's dominance, this just basically means how much of the total $3 trillion market cap Bitcoin holds. So Bitcoin is still at roughly 60%, depending on when you're watching this video, 
when I started recording, it was like at 60, 61%. But Bitcoin and altcoin dominance have been historically playing in an inverse correlation, meaning that when Bitcoin's dominance goes up, altcoin dominance goes down because liquidity is flowing more into Bitcoin as Bitcoin grows than altcoins. It doesn't mean that altcoins sell off. It just means that Bitcoin does better. So like if something's going sideways while something else goes up, like if Bitcoin goes up while altcoins go sideways, then Bitcoin's dominance grows while altcoins dominance drop. So this is not like a price chart. This is a percentage chart of overall market cap. And so historically, this happens every eight months after the Bitcoin halving. Currently, we are in the seventh month since the halving. Right now, they're in the respective key levels, which indicates the potential reversal is coming. This will trigger, trigger alt season. We're also at this ascending support for the altcoin dominance market, roughly around nine or 10 percent. So expect a bounce soon. Now, when we bring up the chart right here and we look at Bitcoin's market cap dominance compared to XRP's price chart, we see something very interesting compared to the past. If you go all the way back to the 1st of March 2017, we can see when Bitcoin's dominance dropped all the way from up here at 90% when Bitcoin stock to flow rainbow indicator went from orange to yellow during the first couple months in yellow, we just kind of hovered up here and then it broke all the way down here to about 50%. During that breakdown, look at what happened at the bottom of the screen right here for the XRP price chart. That liquidity flowed from Bitcoin into XRP and XRP performed the largest rally of that cycle out of this macro symmetrical triangle. Now, what's interesting to note about what's happening right now is this breakout for XRP is coming one, two, three months into the Bitcoin stock to flow rainbow indicator going from orange to yellow. Even the last bull run, we can see, you know, the first month into the transition from orange to yellow, we saw XRP break out, get suppressed by the lawsuit, but then bounce from that after three months in when Bitcoin's dominance inevitably peaked out. So when Bitcoin's dominance started breaking down right here on the top of the screen, you guys can see XRP's price at the bottom of the screen was inversely correlated. So when Bitcoin's dominance drops, altcoins go up, XRP goes up, and this time is no different. People that have been hating on XRP truly don't understand anything of what I'm talking about. They skip over these videos, but very intelligent people like yourself, they watch this and they make up their own mind, right? I give no financial advice. You know, could, be, could I be wrong? Absolutely. Like I say, I'm not a, I'm not a Nostradamus here. I don't know the future, okay? Those psychic businesses. If I created one, I'd probably go out of business really quick, but I look at the facts and I look at the data and then this helps you do your own research. So don't buy XRP, don't sell XRP. In fact, don't buy, don't sell anything we talk about in these videos. Just watch this for learning purposes only. I do hold positions in the cryptocurrencies that I talk about, but that doesn't mean that you should. All you need to do is pay attention to the data that I present to you because men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. So Bitcoin's dominance is at 60% right now, even with XRP breaking above a dollar and 16 cents. Imagine what happens, guys, when Bitcoin's dominance starts dropping back down to like 50%, similar to what happened during this first move down here, even to 30%, what do you think that's going to do for XRP's price? I think this rally is just getting started. We haven't even seen the half of this macro breakout because if we were to draw this symmetrical triangle all the way back to the COVID low, we're in an even much bigger consolidation period going all the way back to January of 2018. So I think the move for XRP when Bitcoin's dominance finally breaks down to like 50%, I think that's going to flow into Dogecoin and XRP and a few other large caps. Like the dinosaur coins are starting to wake up as well too, like HBAR, Algorand, XDC, Cardano. But if you look at the top 10, the ones that are up the most in the past seven days, XRP is number one. I think XRP is going to reclaim its rightful throne in that number two spot by the end of this bull run. Remember, the 2017 bull run, XRP was number two. And then the ETH gate happened with Jay Clayton, the SEC suing Ripple. And then XRP dropped down between number six to number eight, right? It's fluctuated depending on if the whole market's selling off, then like USDC rises up, depending on how meme coins are doing, Dogecoin rises up. So Dogecoin's up 78%. So meme coins gonna do incredibly well. Also, SUI gonna do incredibly well. So hang tight to the end of this video. I'm going to share with you guys how you can get real-time altcoin picks on the top projects before they explode. So just remember, when your kids ask you, how did you become so rich? You're going to tell them because you bought more XRP when the SEC sued Ripple. 
And over the past few years, I've dove down the rabbit hole personally to dive into everything from the technical analysis, the fundamental, and also the crazy conspiracy theories. But I posted this on my Twitter if you guys want to follow me at RunLifeNick. Conspiracy theorist is a phrase that the ignorant use to define the diligent. So let's look into one of the biggest conspiracy theories out there, and that's the, the Matrix. So in the Matrix, the main character of the movie, Keanu Reeves, well, his name is Neo, but his actual name in the movie is Thomas Anderson, and he worked at a place called Metacortex. Now, if you look at the X in Metacortex, it's the XRP logo turned sideways. So, you know, is this a coincidence? Well, if we look a little bit deeper than this, which is what we need to do, when you go to gematrix.org, which is gematria created by the Jews that run the world, well, on Jewish gematria, the first thing that pops up is Ripple XRP, XRP Ripple when you type in Meta Cortex. It also is interesting to note that when you type in Thomas Anderson, the name of Neo, it comes up as 589. Now, this has been a big number in the XRP community. People have, and I made videos about this, about the Simpsons and debunked that the Simpsons is not posting 589, but the number 589 has significant meaning. And here's why. When we look up 589, it pops up Donald Trump. It pops up ISO XRP. It pops up a storm is coming. It also pops up Ripple the Bull. And what's a very funny coincidence, which I don't believe in at all because I've seen too many things that debunk the word coincidence in general because of how God operates through the universe and through our lives. But if we go to Brad Garlinghouse's page, well, Brad Garlinghouse follows 589 people. And with Trump's election, he's been posting about Trump recently and how excited he is with the new people coming into the administration, being proactively ready to work with the crypto industry on clear rules of the road. So do you think this is just a coincidence or has what we've been talking about over the past few years showing you all of these documents happening right in front of our eyes right now for phase one? Well, listen to what Brad Garlinghouse just said on Fox Business about his private meeting with Donald Trump. The blockchain payments company Ripple, which uses XRP to enable transactions, jumped dramatically since election night. And it saw big surges earlier this week on speculation that its CEO held a meeting with the president-elect following his victory and speculation that anti-crypto SEC chief Gary Gensler might soon announce his resignation, which we just talked about with former SEC uh, director Norm Champ. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse is here in a Fox Business exclusive in studio to discuss all of this. Okay, a 70% gain since election day. Let me guess, you are a Donald Trump fan, at least uh, of a presidency as he oversees a, a crypto world that he's very open armed to. For sure. Uh, like what a difference 10 days makes. Uh, we for years in the United States have had an attack on the crypto industry. It's been war. And we finally, I think, have, uh, a, you know, a crypto president. The crypto industry has embraced Trump. Trump has embraced the crypto industry. He really has. He, he really has. I, I think it's very genuine. And I think he sees the opportunity. He sees innovation. He sees entrepreneurship. And look, the, the I'm very excited about what the future holds. I'll point out, you were saying that XRP is up 70 plus percent. Since Election Day, the best performing crypto assets are all U.S. companies or U.S. technologies. This shouldn't be a surprise. The, the, the United States SEC has been manipulating and putting pressure on these U.S. companies, U.S. technologies, and now that pressure comes off and they explode upwards. So we shouldn't be surprised by that. Hmm. So that is since when that it's all U.S.? That have really, since Election Day. Okay, since, since so, Election Day, then that it, that really makes sense. It does. And if you can even put a number on this, like what, what has Gary Gensler's war on crypto, you can put an amount on it. We went from 2.2 trillion mm -hmm. to basically 3 trillion. So th this was an $800 billion unlock just because we now are going to have rational actors who act lawfully. You know, as as you know, well, the states have now even participated in suing the SEC and saying you are not acting lawfully and enforcing the laws. I got to ask you, the price of XRP earlier this week spasmed. It jumped about 10 percent after you liked a tweet earlier that suggested you may have met with President-elect Donald Trump. Any truth to those rumors? 
I mean, I think like many of your guests today, I'm not going to comment on too many specifics here. Suffice it to okay, say. Okay, that's a yes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I, I respect Look, that. But to me, it's a yes. Like it, we have been active throughout this election cycle in being very pro crypto, pro innovation. And how do we make sure that this Congress and you know the, the president obviously is it's a totally new day and. I, I could not be happier about like a, a Congress that I think is, as Norm said earlier, your guest, we got to get away from regulation through enforcement. That makes no sense. What about this yesterday, this lawsuit filed by 18 attorneys generals, I believe all from Republican states, suing the SEC, saying that they are allegedly overreaching when it comes to crypto regulation. Did you... you know that that was coming at all? We did not. And I say to all 18 of those attorney generals, welcome to the party. You know, look, we have been fighting, Ripple's been fighting this fight since the very beginning. We've spent literally over $150 million fighting the SEC, an unlawful war. And so I'm thrilled they're joined. I wish they would have joined earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, even in their case, that the, the, what they filed cites the Ripple case over and over. And so they see what has happened. They see how Gensler has overreached. And I only wish there was a way to hold the SEC, hold Gensler, hold yeah. some of these people accountable. And we should say that earlier this week, Robin Hood relisted XRP on its platform, driven by what they believe might be this new, more welcoming regulatory environment? For sure. I mean, this goes back to like the, the U.S. has finally unlocking this hostility. And I, I do think things like uh, Robin Hood is saying, you know, I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner, but I'm glad they did it now. And, you know, I expect Robin Hood, by the way, up 37 percent this month alone. Nice move for Robin Hood. And, and he flat as 10 of the CEO sat here and said that crypto has been a huge driver for their bottom line. I mean, he said yeah. that it actually is an order of magnitude, a 10 X decrease in cost for in order for him to trade. Brad, thanks for stopping by. Now, if you ask any expert in body language about that, he met with Trump and it was a very bullish meeting. What's also very bullish that has drawn controversy is Trump has proposed a 10% credit card interest rate cap during a rally back in September, calling it a temporary fix while Americans catch up. We can't let them make 25 and 30% he added, referring to credit card issuers. Now, this is a big deal because Visa and MasterCard just lost a $5.5 billion settlement for imposing high fees, specifically swipe fees, on merchants and business owners. And over the past month, we've been helping businesses see what Visa and MasterCard took from them between 2004 to 2019. So far, we've helped 374 businesses that have processed over $222 million in credit card processing volume, get qualified to receive back up to $3.8 million. So if you have a business or you know any business owners, Listen to this. Hey, bull runners, this is super time sensitive, especially if you're looking to stack more crypto before the bull run is over. Did you know that Visa and MasterCard lost a $5.5 billion class action lawsuit for imposing unfair fees on merchants and business owners? So if you own a business or if you know any business owners that process payments with Visa or MasterCard between 2004 and 2019, that's 15 years, you could actually be owed a refund of one to 1.5% of your total revenue from that period, that's a lot of money. For example, this business that generated 1.6 million in credit card revenue during those years is getting back $28,000. This business that generated over 7 million is getting back $93,000. And this business that generated over $20 million during those years is getting back over $320,000 thousand dollars that's money they didn't even know was on the table and all they did was fill out a form through the link below this video it literally takes less than a minute to see if you qualify but you don't want to wait too long because the deadline to file is february 4th 2025 so the sooner that you fill out the form below the sooner that you can reclaim what's rightfully yours plus if you don't have a business you can actually earn three percent by referring businesses that do qualify by creating your affiliate account through the link below so this is a no-brainer way to get money back in your pocket to use for your business, or if you want to use it for crypto or other assets to invest in, you can do that. So click the link below. Let's get you paid. Now, to be clear, Trump's credit card interest rate cap is proposed to be deeply divided in Washington and is not final. Experts are saying that they see it as a low probability event as it would require an act of Congress. But what's crazy about this is if we look at what Trump's doing today, and we go back to the bank war in the U.S., 
which was the struggle between President Andrew Jackson and Nicholas Biddle, President of the Bank of the United States, over the continued existence of the only national banking institute in the nation during the second quarter of the 19th century. Jackson was taking on the banks, and in 1835, just outside the Capitol building, a house painter tried to shoot him with two pistols, both of which misfired, somewhat similar to the assassination attempt on Trump, and he was apprehended after Jackson beat him severely with his cane. That's an absolute legend move right there. But here's why this matters. In 1835, Jackson became the only president to pay off the national debt. He survived the first assassination attempt on a sitting president. Now, if we look at what the U.S. national debt is today, it's $36 trillion. It literally just passed that like a day or two ago. This was at $30 trillion just recently. So this debt is flying through the roof. And Donald Trump has come out in interviews hinting at using Bitcoin to pay off the country's $35 trillion in debt. Who knows, maybe we'll pay off our $35 trillion, hand him a little crypto check, right? We'll hand him a little Bitcoin and wipe out our $35 trillion. But how do you want now, is this a realistic solution? Well, Bitcoin would need to hit like $165 million per coin to do that. Or is there an even better way to pay off the debt? Well, when you have a president telling you to never sell your Bitcoin, you might want to listen. Never sell your Bitcoin, right? This was just posted by Cynthia Loomis saying it's in the hopper. Time to full send the Bitcoin Act of 2024 on congress.gov which still has to pass the senate and pass the house but now that the house and the senate are majority republicans this increases the likelihood through the roof to get this passed and in this bill the plan is to establish a strategic bitcoin reserve and other programs to ensure the transparent management of bitcoin holdings of the federal government to offset costs utilizing certain resources of the federal reserve system and for other purposes and right here it says just as gold reserves have historically served as a cornerstone of national financial security, Bitcoin represents a digital age asset capable of enhancing the financial leadership and security of the United States in the 21st century global economy. The acquisition and long-term storage of substantial quantities of Bitcoin by the United States can strengthen the financial condition of the United States, providing a hedge against economic uncertainty and monetary instability. This is a big deal, guys. If you don't hold any crypto 20 years from right now, you're going to look back and you're like, what was I thinking? It's like the people today that look back to the early 2000s and are like, what was I thinking? I could have bought Amazon stock. I could have bought Microsoft. I could have bought Google stock. I could have bought Tesla stock. I should have bought Nvidia. Could have, should have, would have, but you never did. Don't be that loser. Subscribe to the channel right now because we've been backing up our truck all the way to the bank. But this is super bullish, guys. I'm not going to read the rest of this. This just basically means number goes up with more stuff like this being introduced. But it still needs to pass the Senate, pass the House, go to the president. Of course, Trump would sign into law and then become law. So look at the open interest for Bitcoin. Money is pouring in like a waterfall. The market is extremely frothy right now. So pay attention because something is going to happen soon. And the Federal Reserve is clinging on to their last finger. And Jerome Powell does not want to let go. Even when asked about what his thoughts are on Trump demoting him or firing him, listen to this. Do you believe that the president has the power to fire or demote you? And has the Fed determined the legality of a president demoting at will any of the other governors with leadership positions? Not permitted under the law. Not what? Not permitted under the law. Thank you. So Trump is getting rid of the old guard. He's bringing in younger, more youthful leadership that's progressive. And he picked Coinbase's CEO for Treasury Secretary. Guys, this tells you all that you need to know. Coinbase listings are going to skyrocket the price of a lot of cryptocurrencies over the next year. We saw it happen with Pepe. We saw it happen with WIF. We're going to see it happen with more projects. And we've been sharing some explosive altcoins with you guys recently. For example, this one I shared at like a 16K market cap when it launched. It's over a million dollar market cap. That's over a 60X from First Ledger that lists meme coins. Now, for even larger market cap projects, inside of Altcoin Pro University, you can just go to bullrunners.com. We have about 248 members, and all you need to do is click on the community section. You can scroll down, engage with the community, post stuff on here. This is kind of like your Facebook feed, but for Altcoin University members. And then at the top, you can click more, and you guys will see Altcoin picks right here. For example, our research team posted Desync eight days ago at 21 cents, and now it's at over 30 cents. Our team posted this project at 9 cents at a $96 million market cap called Fartcoin. I know, completely stupid, 
It is. And now it's sitting at 32 cents, up three to four X over the past week. It's so stupid that you're going to be dumb rich by the end of this bull run with all these picks. And there's all sorts of altcoin picks in AI, gaming, meme coins, real world assets, all these different projects dropping in here from large cap, mid cap, low cap projects that our research team is finding this entire bull run. So get in right now, guys. It's literally only $97 a month. You can click the link in the description below, or it's $970 a year. You could save $194 and lock exclusive bonuses. If you would have taken action over the past week and seen those altcoin picks, some of them up 2x, some of them up 3x, it would have completely paid off the $970 or $97 a month. It's so measly. That's tiny. That's what I tipped last night in dinner. Now, I make no guarantees that you're going to make profits from these picks because crypto is very risky. It's volatile. That's why we provide you with 100 plus expert curated classes which is a comprehensive library crafted by industry experts and you just go into the classroom right here through the link below go through every single module start here go through the crypto foundations web3 navigation blueprint ironclad crypto security strategy the building blocks of web3 diving into DeFi, altcoin research methodologies portfolio deliberations training portfolio management and go through all the live weekly call recordings crypto task mastery from our certified cpa as well too mastering meme coins whale tracking technical analysis essentials and then all this other stuff that's coming soon that our research team is working on continuously. So we're going to continuously add new courses in here for members to take advantage of this entire bull run. We have a leaderboard here as well, too, that ranks you guys from normie to gigabrain, depending on how much engagement you have. So because we just started, pretty much everyone is in it. normie to hodler. So shout out to Corey Boeing. Shout out to Gary Rogers. My sexy life. I think that's how you say it. Aid Pitt, Michael Boyle, Carl, Carl Patterson, Jeffrey Arnett, Anthony Magalio or Maglio, Mercy, Awur, Souls King. And then we're gonna have an all-time leaderboard. So get in right now, guys, climb up the leaderboard. We're probably gonna do some cool giveaways for those of you guys on these leaderboards every seven days, every 30 days, and then all-time as well. We're building the coolest and the wealthiest altcoin community in the world. Our research team posted GOAT on the 13th of October of 2024 when it was right at a penny. And since then, it rallied to over $1 and it's currently still up over 5,000%. That's like turning $1,000 into over $50,000. Our team called Pendle at only a $16 million market cap or 16 cents back on February 18th of 2023. All the way back here and since then, it's rallied up over 4000 thousand percent that's a 40x it's like turning a thousand dollars into over forty thousand dollars our team also called bit tensor tau september 15th 2022 before the token was ever even launched and since then tau has rallied over two thousand percent that's a 20x our team even said solana is most likely to be one of the easiest trades next year and this was posted december 29th 2022 on the day that solana bottomed out at around eight dollars and since then solana looks like it's up over 2500 percent that's a 25x it's like turning a thousand dollars into over twenty five thousand dollars and the bull run is just getting started the list goes on and on and on our team called sui ondo and even some of the biggest cult based meme coins like mog back in july 20th of 2023 the day that mog launched so if you want to learn how our team is finding these altcoins before they explode get in right now watch the 26 minute video covering everything that altcoin pro university offers to help you become the first millionaire in your family tree if that's a goal of yours our goal is to help a thousand members set their portfolio up for life this month and you can get started through the link in the description below right now or you can go to bullrunners.com to take advantage of the bonuses we're giving you before they expire everyone is loving the community they're loving the education they're getting access to real-time altcoin picks first before we ever make videos about them so click the link in the description below watch the video and i'll see you on the inside <laughs>